Hi there, good afternoon. After the storm, it's really calm and beautiful. Came out today in the uh, Big Lagoon Bay in Pensacola to go fishing, but no fishing rod. And uh, using the bow and arrow, uh, I've been using this since uh, 1993. It harvested a lot of deer. So this is an old uh, bow, so I've taken a uh, carp with this. So my outfit is the kayak, Hobie kayak, and I uh, brought the stabilizer so I could stand with no problem. shot got it first thing ray mission accomplished we have to take out that barb. You know, it's trying to poke me with that barb. So let's uh, get that. That is the, the dangerous and poisonous part of this. The first thing you have to uh, remove the barb. Yep. Two of them. Oops. I took out the bars from the tail of the stingray. As you can see, the tip is very pointed, almost needle sharp, with serrations with the angle pointed towards the tip. So if this will get into the skin and soft tissue, it will cause a lacerated wound. It will be difficult for it to come out and they to break inside the tissue. This has a venom and it causes immediate pain and other manifestations. And also likely has a lot of bacteria that could lead to a severe infection. Imagine this came from a small stingray and big ones will have bigger barbs. Perfect shot. This is my first uh, stingray on a kayak. This is the amount of meat I got from that uh, small stingray. Uh, beautiful meat. So we'll cut it into small pieces. Maybe this much. Here is the finished product, golden brown stingray fillet, a mock scallops recipe with a deep sauce. Time for a taste test. Golden brown from a panko. Put it in a sauce here. Crispy from outside. 
but very, very tender inside. They said it tastes like scallops, but I think this is better than scallops. Small stingray, they don't have a thick meat, but it's a lot tender. The sauce is spicy with avocado flavor and also some sweetness from agave syrup. It tastes really good. You should try it. Bye. Wow, it's so good. This is the last piece. Wow.